Let's talk about Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. This team may be in some trouble. And I'm not saying it because their defense, defense has been very good this season. I'm saying it because their offense. And no, it's not because Patrick Mahomes just lost to the Denver Broncos and because they lost the first game to the Detroit Lions. These wide receivers are no good. If the, re if the wide receiving option is not Travis Kelsey, you cannot rely on them. Marquez Valdez Scanley is just another guy. Sky Moore has not developed at all with this team. And Kadarius Tony is just downright horrible with this team. The only consistent weapon they have is Travis Kelsey. Now, granted, Travis Kelsey missed week one against the Detroit Lions, but they were close in that game. It just came down to a lot of drops. Kadarius Tony had a drop in that game that went for a pick six. Automatic points going back to the other team. And he also had another major drop late in the fourth quarter as well that could have helped them get in field goal range or just possibly go score a touchdown and win the game. But listen to these numbers. Travis Kelsey missed week one and he's the leading receiver for this team. He has 525 receiving yards and four receiving touchdowns on 48 receptions. Behind him is Rasheed Rice, he, he, who is a rookie. He has 26 receptions, 305 receiving yards and three touchdowns. After that, it's a major drop off. Justin Watson is the third leading receiver for for this team, he has 219 receiving yards. Marquez Valdez Scanling has 200 receiving yards and one receiving touchdown. And that number is miscued because besides the Los Angeles Chargers game, he hasn't done anything with this team consistently in terms of just getting open and catching the football and being a deep threat. Yes, safeties pay attention to him, but at the same time, no one is fearing Marquez Valdez Scanling going down the field consistently and catching a deep pass from Patrick Mahomes. And you look after him. Isaiah Pacheco is a running back for this team. He has 163 receiving yards and one receiving touchdown. Notice how I haven't even mentioned Sky Moore yet. Because Isaiah Pacheco has more receiving yards than Sky Moore. Three more receiving yards, but he still has more receiving yards than Sky Moore. Sky Moore and Kadarius Tony are supposed to be guys that are going to go out there and take the next step after that Super Bowl win over the Philadelphia Eagles because they had some nice plays in that game. Granted, they were schemed open in the red zone. They just walked in for free touchdowns because they just had miscommunications on the Eagles defense. But they did make some key plays in that game. But besides that, Kadarius Tony has been a bust with this team. He had the one good game against the Dallas Cowboys when he was with the New York Giants, but his career so far has fell flat. Same with Sky Moore. He has shown some okay moments, but we haven't seen the moment of him just go out there and take over a game or even just get close to that. These guys are not even flashing off the screen. It's Travis Kelsey or Bust for Patrick Mahomes. And the reason why their numbers look so good offensively is because Patrick Mahomes is just running around and he's just trying to get guys open. And half the time when he's running around getting guys open, they either catch or don't catch the football at all. And that's the crazy part with this team. They don't need to go and get a guy similar to Tyreek Hill. They don't need to go out there and get a number one wide receiver like a Jamar Chase. They just need a solid veteran. And I'm recording this before the trade deadline. Maybe they go out there and get a solid wide receiver that's a number two or a number three on another team. And you just integrate him into the system. All he has to do, just move the chains and just get tough yardage and just catch the football. That's it. And that what made Juju so Juju Smith. Juju Smith-Schuster so clutch for this team, even though he's not a top five, top 10, or even a top 15 wide receiver, he was very valuable to the Chiefs. And if you are a Chiefs fan, you have to hate seeing him go to the Patriots because he's not doing much over there, but he was a perfect compliment to Travis Kelsey. No, he wasn't the fastest wide receiver. No, he wasn't the guy that was going to go in and outside his cuts perfect every single time, but he was a guy when he was left in one-on-one -on -one coverage, he could beat man coverage. These guys can't beat man coverage consistently. And doing it against the Los Angeles Chargers is not a big deal. That's one of the worst passing defenses in the NFL. That's what you are supposed to do. I have seen the Chiefs be in close games for no reason. We could take it back to the Jacksonville Jaguars game a couple weeks ago. Wide receivers get open deep down the field. They drop it. Or Patrick Mahomes puts it in a bucket and they can't hold on to it. They just can't catch consistently. They're fourth in total offense and a third in passing offense with these bad wide receivers. And that is on the back of Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey. And they're fourth in total defense and second in passing defense. This may be the best defense that Patrick Mahomes has played with in his entire career. The last time a defense was this dominant or just close to being this good, they went on and they won the Super Bowl. And they did that a couple years ago against the San Francisco 49ers. 
Right now, the Chiefs are in major trouble because if you take Travis Kelsey away, you put him in double coverage, which is hard to do because he still finds a way to get open majority of the time. But if you put him in trap coverage and other guys just in one-on-one -on -one coverage, you can essentially beat the Chiefs. And you just drop somebody down to make sure Patrick Mahomes does not run and just take off for the entire time and he doesn't rush for over 500 yards in the season, you can be in pretty good shape. And it should not be that easy to be the team that is this good, that has a strong offensive line, that has a great quarterback and one of the greatest tight ends of all time. All because they don't have any help. And they can't run the football over and over again with Isaiah Pacheco. Not saying that he is a bad running back because he's very good he's very physical the problem with that is they'll just stack the box and they'll still find a way to just take travis kelsey away from you so you're doing more harm than good in that situation yes it can open up the offense and just possibly get guys open but if you're not scheming these guys open to get wide open it's not going to work out so let me know in the comment section below what should the kansas city chiefs do should they stay the course and still try to develop these guys or should they go out and just try to make a trade and it's easier said than done trying to go out and make a trade at this point in time in the season i feel like the general manager basically shot himself in the foot over the off season by not trying to get a guy like deandre hopkins or just not trying to go out there and just try to trade for a wide receiver or just go into the wide receiving market at the time in free agency but let me know in the comment section below how you feel about the chiefs and are they still a super bowl contender in the afc if you're new to the channel Hit subscribe button if you like the video hit the like button most importantly want each and every single last one guys stay safe stay positive have a blessed day guys peace